morning, good morning world. I want to introduce myself. My name is Gregory Plazier. I'm the CEO and owner of SelfTech IT Solutions. Uh, SelfTech IT Solutions is an IT training company that I actually created um, about three years ago now, where I teach everyday individuals how to either switch their careers or start a career um, in the IT field um, by learning software testing. Um, the story behind that is that about, I think it's been four or five years now, uh, ago, um, I was approached by a friend who told me they were going to take a course and, you know, after this course, they were going to be able to make like seventy, eighty thousand dollars $80,000 a year. After like a six month course, um, he offered for me to join him to take the course. At the time I refused because it just didn't make sense to me. A course that could teach you how to make anywhere from eighty to a hundred thousand a year off of six months and it's not a college course or anything like that back then it uh, just didn't make sense to me then after about a year i'm still more like six months of um this friend taking his course he really showed me his offer letter where he made eighty thousand. so i decided that um i was gonna take the course as well so before taking the course i had a few other friends who took the course as well and um they kind of gave me a fair bear, a fair warning of how the course goes and how the instructor was. Um, but I knew my end goal was to make that money because I had just recently gotten married. Um, so I wanted that. Hold on. So happens when you live in the city. Anyway, so um, I had decided that I was going to uh, take the course to see if I could change my life and kind of just like make sure as a man I'm financially stable to, you know, support my family. Uh, so I started taking the course and I, I realized that about 30 days into the course that this instructor was kind of holding me back because I needed change and I wanted to change fast. We were like in a small apartment, um, which I plan on showing you guys because I still have access to it because it's actually one of my best friend's um, house. Um, it was a small apartment and I really wanted us to get a house and just do better and bigger things, right? So after 30 days of being in this guy course and I, I believe I paid him 1500 I decided that I was gonna drop out and learn it on my own because I already have friends who took the class. The guy gave me the manual for the class already. Hold on, I gotta let all this traffic go by. The guy already gave me the guy already gave me the manual for the class, and I don't know how or why he explained to me exactly how the class would go. Um, so once he gave me the blueprint to how I would be successful in the IT field by becoming a software tester, I um, took it into my own hands and I dropped out of his class for like, I'd say 45 days at the max. Once the, uh, once I was on my own at that point, I turned studying into my nine to five. Um, every day I was studying for <laughs> three, four hours a day, um, just studying the material, learning everything. Um, and then once I felt comfortable, I created a resume and um, I started hitting the job market, started taking interviews. Long story short, I went from working in the retail field from the time I was 16 to the time I was 25. Um, and then I joined the IT field and I was in the IT field up until, I'm gonna say maybe the last three months. Um, the last three months, then three months ago, my last contract was actually canceled. And um, I decided that from that point on, I was actually going to uh, retire from the IT field and, and from that moment on, just simply teach um, others how to do what I did. Uh, and not only that, but I also have a logistics management company that I run as well. So I had a few options that I didn't have to go back to work if I didn't want to. So I decided to do that. But there were a lot of goals in the IT field that once I got in there and I saw that growth and opportunity that I had, um, that, I, that I had wrote down for myself that I had said I wanted to accomplish, right? And me retiring from the IT field wasn't allowing me to accomplish those goals. It, it was kind of, I kind of felt like I was uh, giving up on those goals. So instead of giving up, I decided now that I have the time to learn because when I was teaching and I was uh, working, I didn't really have the time to learn anything new i was too busy teaching others and helping others change their lives right so i kind of became stagnant which is why i was kind of excited to not have to work anymore and just simply teach so now that i have the opportunity to actually teach others 
and still learn on my own, I'm gonna take that opportunity, which is why I'm actually creating this YouTube channel. Uh, I, I, want people, I want to document my journey, right? Because like I said, I was a software, a manual software tester, right? But now I'm on the pace to learn how to become a developer. So my goal is we're in July right now. Today is July 20th, 2021. And today's gonna be the first day I'll start actually studying and learning different material. Uh, my goal is to, by the end of the year, to be in a position where I can start applying to like full stack developer roles or entry level developer roles. So I'm going from assistant manager to <laughs> QA to now developer, that is the goal. So I'm gonna be actually documenting my journey. Um, so you'll see my days throughout when I'm studying new material, running my trucking company, actually training my IT students um, because I'm actually opening the door now for others to learn how to become developers as well, for others to learn how to how to uh, do automated testing, for others to uh, learn SQL. So my company, Self Tech IT Solutions, now offer all of this. So pretty much, people who are joining me now, you're joining me in part of my journey as well, um, because it was this is really big for me because I've always wanted to learn coding, always wanted to be a developer, but never had the opportunity. Um, as you see, I'm walking now, I'm walking to go pick up my car from my parents' house. They don't live too far. Um, I'm still in the same neighborhood I grew up in. <laughs> and in this neighborhood, not too many people get an opportunity um, like the one that I'm giving. I'm literally teaching people how to get into the IT world. Where I come from, most people believe that to be in the IT field, you gotta be like a genius. You gotta be super smart, right? Um, I'm not a genius. I just know that I'm willing to put the work in. So this is, gonna, this is the first uh, this is the first installment of the video for my YouTube channel. Um, I just wanted to introduce myself, let everybody get to know me. Um, today, I, I do have a session with one of my teachers. Um, see if I can get some footage of that, where I record and show y'all what we're learning today. Today, the first part of me becoming a full stack developer. Um, the next, in the next two months, I'll be learning SQL, SQL as some people call it. Um, that's the first part. Then I'll be learning Java and a few other things that will prepare me so that by the end of this year, I can take my journey and start applying to become uh, a full stack developer. So yeah, guys, thanks for tapping in. I'll be back soon with maybe some footage from me trucking or even me taking a course. Peace out. What's going on guys, tapping back in, right? Change the scene, just like I told you, I have to pick up my car from my parents' house, right? Um, so, just walking through the neighborhood, and I, I saw the other day, I saw um, Wallow um, post a, a video the other day, just going back to the area and neighborhood that he came from where he first started recording his videos. Um, and it kind of like inspired me, because I think about like, I'm not, I didn't make it as far as life as Wallow did, but um, I think about them days when I worked at T-Mobile, when I worked at Comcast, when I worked at Sprint, um, how much I hated it there and how much I wanted to change my career, how much I wanted something better. Um, and at the time back then, I really felt like college was my only option. Like I didn't have any other options except for college. Um, and school was never my thing. I don't think there's a person in the world who has been to more colleges than I have. No, no lie, I think I've been to about five or six different schools, like community colleges, all of that. Like I've tried school multiple times. Um, and it's not that I can't learn, because obviously I learned a skill that changed my life, right? So it's not that I can't learn, it's just that school just wasn't for me. That's what I come down to it. Um, even now as an adult who's learned items, um, who's learned skills and all that, I still don't really believe that school is for me. I believe that I can learn, I, I am big on education, um, but I don't believe that college is for everyone, right? Um, but yeah, after seeing Wallow's video, it kind of encouraged me to kind of like, especially after taking that walk in my neighborhood, I haven't walked around in my neighborhood in years. I've just been driving. <laughs> I um, walk my dogs around my block and then that's pretty much it, right? Um, but today I actually walked around the neighborhood that I used to walk around all the time, whether it was going to school, um, going to friend's house, whatever the case may be. So it kind of motivated me to just look at my old stopping grounds because my like as far as when I was uh, learning to become a um, software tester, a manual software tester, um, I actually lived on a different side of town in Philadelphia 
um, than, than where I actually grew up. So when I first got married, I moved to the northeast of Philadelphia, then I moved back to West Oak Lane in Philadelphia. Um, so it kind of encouraged me to, now that I'm starting this new journey, go back there, go go look at the, my old apartment, because I still have, like I said, I still have access to it, because it's actually my best man's um, duplex. Um, and he told me, he gave me the okay to go over there and check it out and just record some footage just to show you guys where the grind started, um, where the grind has taken me. Um, and now the next steps into the grind to becoming a developer. So stay tuned. Um, I'm gonna have some footage of the old T-Mobile and Sprint store I used to work at and um, the old apartment, even though it's under construction. All right, guys, so I'm outside of my old jobs now. Uh, what's interesting, I, used, I worked for T-Mobile in the past and I worked, worked for Sprint in the past, right? Uh, both of the stores that I used to work for were in the same plaza, so they were like two, three stores apart. But um, most, as most know, T-Mobile actually acquired um, Sprint so it's interesting, this T-Mobile store that you see right here was actually my old Sprint store, um, but they changed it to an actual T-Mobile store. But that was actually my um, old uh, Sprint store. So it's interesting to see it as a T-Mobile store now. Still keep in contact with all my coworkers. I don't know who works at what store now though. Um, just to show you guys where I used to work and now I work for myself and I work from home even though I'm going back to the IT field. I haven't been in this neighborhood in quite a while actually. Wow, there's a whole Bank of America here. So this is the old T. This was actually my old T-Mobile store right here. Now it's a Metro by T-Mobile. That's so interesting to see how the neighborhood actually changes. But yeah. This is where I used to work at. When I first actually um, learned about the course that changed my life, uh, I was actually working at that T-Mobile store right there. Um, and my manager wasn't willing to change his schedule for me to take the course. And that's how I ended up coming to what was the Sprint store right here. And I'm um, applying here because I knew the manager from previously working at Sprint. And uh, that's how I got back into Sprint so that I could take the course. And sometimes you gotta be able, you gotta be willing to sacrifice whatever it takes. Cause I think I actually took a pay cut from leaving T-Mobile to go to uh, Sprint, um, just so I could take the course. Cause my goal wasn't to make money currently; it was to, to become a software tester and actually make real money and get my freedom back. So yeah, now we're gonna uh, head over to my old apartment. All right, guys. Just like I said, I'm at my old apartment. Um, keep in mind it's under construction. Construction now. Oh. Oh, didn't know that one was messed up. I haven't been here in probably about a year or two. Um, Cause after we moved out, a friend of ours moved in. Um, and I used to stop by. But besides that, since he moved out, I was just getting dark. Yep, this is our old apartment. This is surreal to be here. I haven't been here in a while. Especially when it's so empty. When we got married, this was where we lived. This was our room. <laughs> Yo, we really used to share this closet though. That's crazy. So, um, when I was learning um, QA, software testing, manual testing, um, I worked at T-Mobile at the time, and what I used to do is, I used to wake up early in the morning, around like 5.30, 6 o'clock, go, wash up. The bathroom wasn't as this nice when I was here, I can tell you that much. He's only, like I said, he's renovating, right? Um, shower. And then I would come over here to this kitchen right here. And back then, I think I walked into a web. Right here in this corner, my wife and I had a um, little kitchen table. It was a decent sized tall table. And um, I literally took all my books, my notes, my cue cards, everything. And I um, would study from about like six to about eight. Then from eight, I'll eat breakfast, get ready to start work, go to that T-Mobile store that I showed y'all earlier, 
work in between customers. I would take um, I would take time to study my cue cards. On my lunch break, I would go outside of my car and study. Um, and I love the fact that um, I'm still friends with all my T-Mobile coworkers that I worked with um, because they can verify these stories for you when they so used to see me studying, right? I love when they reach out to me and just give me words of encouragement telling me how they remember when I used to study to be what, I'm in, what I am now. So it's just interesting to see this corner empty. The table was a pretty decent seat. So the table came from about this wall. I'm gonna say so about like right, right here, about right here. So it's a pretty decent sized table, but it's so interesting um, because now I live in a house and I feel like the house is getting too small for us. Cause now of course we have a son, but um, it's interesting now that I'm here and it's empty and I still feel like, wow, this is not enough space for anybody. But yeah, this is the humble beginnings. So now I would love for you guys to follow me on this journey to become a full stack developer. Um, today is July 20th, 2021. My goal is by January 2022 to start applying for full stack developer jobs. All right, guys. So that's this is the first video. Um, I'm going to add probably add a little bit more content I'm because I have a session today at 1030. Um, with the people that are teaching me um, SQL. So might see if I can get some footage of that, but I might be just too busy learning, right? Um, see if I get some footage of that and we go from there. Thanks for tapping in, guys.